Hello, everyone. This is John Turner McClellan with Cooper Mac Realty Group. We are here today with Gene Dillard, the president of the Plano Art Association. How are you doing, Gene? Great. Good to see you. Good to meet you today. Wanted to get you on here and talk about uh, yourself a little bit and the Plano Art Association, which is an organization here in Plano. Um, you are the president of the organization, correct? Correct. So how long have you been uh, with the organization? How long have you volunteered with it? We are we're 100% volunteer organization. And I guess I've been with the organization for, oh, maybe six or eight years. And um, actually, I was president on one other occasion. We have sort of two-year time um, term limits at that point. And I was... Um, President, uh, I guess in 2017 and 18, back in that era, and um, sort of by popular demand, I got to uh, do it again this year. And um, so it's it's been an uh, interesting time, and I feel like I've uh, learned a lot about the organization and how to help move it forward. Well, what do you do normally for a uh, job? Yeah, in real life. Um, well, I own and operate a, a studio, studio gallery in uh, downtown Plano in, in the uh, historic Plano downtown, the Arts District. And um, it is where I, my studio is uh, sort of the lead studio in Rail Station Studios. That's the name of it. And we have seven artists who exhibit here. And we have three of us have our studios within the space. So uh, that, that's what I'm doing these days. My background prior to concentrating in uh, fine art was in uh, marketing communication. I worked for major ad agencies in the Southwest and probably over the years worked for maybe 20 of the Fortune uh, 500 um, brands in major roles in, um, in their marketing uh, communication effort, primarily advertising. And I still am involved in advertising. I do some work for uh, an agency that I had had my own agency merge with a few years ago. It's called AdWise Group. So we produce um, advertising for some local clients. But my real uh, passion is uh, fine art. And uh, so I've focused that into portrait painting. And you can see a few things in the background, um, but I primarily, um, create commission portraiture for uh, folks that want portrait painted, usually a tribute portrait to someone else. But I've really uh, focused on that aspect of art for the last uh, 20 years or so. And I find it to be an endlessly challenging uh, activity. So that's sort of how I got involved with the Art Association, being an art, an artist in the Plano area. I hooked up with uh, the organization, which is a terrific organization for mentoring and uh, helping artists become the artists they want to be. Yeah, those are some nice portrait work back there. I was going to ask if you had done those yourself or you had someone else doing those. Yeah. No, I paint just about every day and I've got a couple of commissions going right now. And uh, like I say, I find it endlessly challenging because it's, uh, it's a different subject every day. And uh, it's great fun to uh, try to capture the character and personality of the subjects I paint directly from life so they actually uh, you know provide sittings uh, in my studio 
And when they do that, they usually like to tell their, their stories. And so I get to know um, their stories and their character and their personality. And hopefully I'm able to, to capture that. Great. Um, you'd mentioned before that the association has an art exhibit. I believe that's at the Art Center of Plano on 16th Street. Is that correct? Well, right now we have an exhibit. In fact, we had a um, sort of the opening reception of, of last evening. Uh, it's actually at the, the uh, Courtyard Gallery on Avenue H, which is downtown. And um, so that exhibit runs through October the 22nd. So it's open to the public I think from 10 till four every day, except weekends. And uh, now some really excellent uh, artwork. It's all local. It's all the members of the Art Association. I think there are 42 works there. And uh, so like I say, it's all local and it's all for sale. It's a, it's a great opportunity to, to buy some really excellent work. But we had a reception. Uh, last evening and uh, it's a juried uh, exhibit so awards were presented to uh, six of the top um, pieces there so if you visit there you'll see ribbons of first second third place and other awards that uh, that were handed out so I think it's really worth seeing it's a great way to learn what um, some of the top artists in Plano are doing these days. Yeah, so it's a variety of works basically from everyone in the area taking part. Yeah, there's a uh, theme. It's both photography and um, painting and drawing. So it's a little bit of everything. And uh, so it's a really, really interesting mixture. And it's, um, one of the exhibits that the Art Association sponsors every year, although we sponsor several, several others, uh, our major show every year is called the 125 Show. And it is uh, hosted at the Eisman Center uh, down in Richardson. Unfortunately, Plano doesn't have a venue that will accommodate it. Uh, it's a fairly large show. And um, it's called the 125 show because it's made up of artists that live within 125 miles of Plano. It's actually been a really celebrated our 50th anniversary about two years ago. So it's been around a very long time. And it's, uh, I guess, the largest and uh, I will say most prestigious um, artist organization uh, in Plano. We have about, um, about 130 members, and um, they're not all residents of Plano. In fact, um, membership is open to, uh, to anyone you know, in the area. Our funding, a, a little bit of it comes from the city of Plano. We receive a grant every year from the city of Plano, and um, but it's, it's, our funding is primarily <clears throat> I'm sorry for membership fees and donations, and uh, sometimes we take a little cut of sales um, uh, from our exhibits. So we have a variety of resources. A few corporate sponsors who would really like to develop uh, uh, more of the Art Center. Plano is a facility that uh, and an organization that we partner with a lot in hosting exhibits and uh, we have a, a good relationship with uh, the art center of Plano. Great. It sounds like there's a lot to do that people can go and see right now, um, either at your studio or the gallery or the art center. Right. So hopefully yeah, we'll get some new members, uh, hopefully get some new corporate sponsors, like you said. Right, that would be very, 
very meaningful to do that. Yeah, we're participating in the, uh, or we participated in the uh, North Texas Giving Day. And hopefully we will have achieved some uh, donations through that by the end of today. Well, Gene, it was a pleasure talking to you, learning more about the Art Centers, uh, Plano Art Association and the gallery exhibits. So hopefully everyone will get a chance to take a look at that over the next month or so. And I appreciate you stopping by. Well, great. I appreciate the opportunity. And uh, again, I hope everyone can uh, follow us and um, get to know some of the activities that we do. And, uh, Join us in our effort to uh, really emphasize uh, our visual arts to the Plano community. Everyone watching, thanks for watching. Again, this is John Turner McClelland with Cooper Mac Realty Group. Everyone have a great day.